Yo, what is going on YouTube? This is William. Welcome to my video. I've been playing soccer since I was five years old. 20 years later, I'm 25 and I am still kicking it. Thank God. Um, and really the main purpose of this channel is, is I wanna get my name out there. I realize that I'm 25 years old. I have a deep passion for soccer and I want to be able to play at the highest levels. And I realized that I've been surrounding myself with people who love soccer, but they're just not uh, focused on taking it to that next level. So that's number one, but number two, and I think the overall purpose of this channel is gonna be to talk about how important it is to separate your identity, who you are as a person, as a creation of God, because I'm a Christian and I believe what the Bible says that we're made in God's image. So being able to separate that from your performance and the way that you feel specifically in soccer. But I mean, you can take that um, example and apply it to anything really, right? Separating your true identity from um, what your friends think about you. Separating your true identity from what your boyfriend or your girlfriend thinks about you. Or what your ex-boyfriend or your ex-girlfriend thinks about you, right? Because we've all been there. We've all been in those relationships where it goes south and you actually lose your identity when it's over, right? I mean, I know I've been there. I don't know if you guys have experienced something like that before, but that's what we're going to be talking about here on Me Canal, on my channel. I'm currently in the middle of my work day. As you can see, this is my computer setup right now. You can see my desk. It's Friday, I have my first game of the season tomorrow in the NSL, the National Soccer League. So it should be a lot of fun. I think uh, I'll work here, I'll make some breakfast in a minute and I'll talk about my diet as a soccer player. Um, I'll also head over to my friend's house um, who's really good at sales and I'm in a sales role right now and I'll get into all that moving forward. Um, probably get a workout in, nothing too crazy. Um, and I'll talk about what I do to maintain my fitness as a soccer player. And I'll even make some time today to talk about the importance of separating your identity, who you are, from the things that you do. Specifically for me, when I was in high school, um, separating my identity from my performance as a soccer player. And we'll get into the importance of why, as a soccer player, as a student, as a, someone's significant other, it's important to um, separate those two things. All right, so stay tuned, guys, um, and I'll catch you in a few. Okay, ladies and gents, let's go ahead and make some breakfast. I'm gonna be playing some Ross 500 in the background here, super elite football player. I love his uh, mindset and the way that he goes about preparing for his sport and his craft, so. Um, check him out. I usually do intermittent fasting um, and I can get into that in a future video, but today, oh snap. I only have two eggs. I usually have six. I wonder if, I wonder if Luke would mind me eating his eggs. Let's go ask him. On second thought, I'm only gonna eat two eggs today. So I've been, um, I've been focused on my nutrition now for about, I'm 25, for about six years. Up until the age of 19, I was kind of just eating whatever, but I really, really got um, focused on what good nutrition looks like. Um, this started in college soccer, um, and I kind of just carried it over ever since then. What I'm having for breakfast today, bacon, eggs, a whole avocado, uh, and some kale. And it's 1 p.m. again, so I'm intermittent fasting. We got the bacon, we got the eggs, the avocado. So it's a very clean meal. I know some of you might be thinking that bacon is not a healthy food, um, but in reality, it's got a lot of good fats in it. So what's not okay is if you're eating bacon, and then you're eating like more fried foods, like I don't know, French fries or chicken nuggets or anything that's fried is really not gonna be that good for your body. And again, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not an expert at this, but at least that's what works for me. I'm gonna cook up this bacon here real quick. 
I'll throw the eggs on it once it's nice and crispy. Where are we at with the eggs? Right here. Um, slice some avocados and then we'll get some kale on that. Have a cup of coffee and get uh, continue on with the day. So I'll catch you guys once we're done with breakfast. Nice little avocado mash. Um, two eggs, two slices of bacon, a little bit of kale. Uh, we got my coffee with milk and my water. I'm gonna go ahead and chow down and then I'll continue working here for the rest of the day. I'll probably catch you guys when I go for my workout. Um, so I'll see you then. We are back in my second favorite place in the world, the kitchen. Some yogurt, a little bit of coconut oil, peanut butter, and then some frozen strawberries and blueberries. Also got some bananas and some dark chocolate bits. If you can see right here, this little, this little fella right here. All right, anyways, um, well, I eat the same things every single day, Monday through Saturday. It doesn't change. Um, and I can give you guys a whole breakdown of what my diet actually looks like. Super cheap, it's very healthy. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and dive into this and then we'll get into some workout later. Um, and then yeah, we'll take it from there. So I'm just gonna pray real quick, get back to work here, just wind down the day and then we'll pick it up from there. <sighs> Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food, God. I pray that you bless the nutrition that's gonna enter my body. Let it give me energy to do your will. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Let's dig in. What's going on, gang? Excuse my crazy situation up here. Um, work is done for the most part. I'm heading over to my friend's house right now. Uh, I think I mentioned earlier in the video that he's really good at sales. So I'm gonna go train with him for about an hour and we're gonna get Chipotle after that. Uh, pretty big news that happened to me very recently. My motorcycle broke down so I have no transforma uh, transportation. He lives five minutes away from me by car, but I'm having to walk over there. So I'm just gonna take off my shirt here. It's like 85 today in Austin. So, you know, I need that nice tan and just jog over to the house. Uh, I'll be there in about 30 minutes and then we'll go and get some Chipotle. So I'll see you guys later and uh, let's get it. All right, it's about 15 minutes later, about, 1.6 miles away from my house and as you can tell sweating bullets we're we're on the street of my friend's house there's a little puppy over here but yeah we'll touch down let me get some water and we'll take it from there all right my boys just wrapped up some sales training here with my boy tristan and uh, we're about to head over to some Chipotle. Get some Chipotle right now. Um, you know, keeping that, that healthy sort of diet, you know, that 90%, trying to hit that 90% um, quality of just diet. Look at this house, it's so beautiful. Um, and so that's why we're going to Chipotle and not like Domino's or something like that. But um, <clears throat> we're gonna go get that. And I'll check back in with you guys when we get there. But uh, yeah, it's been fun day today. A little bit out of my typical routine, but hey, TGIF. All right, uh, I'll see you at Chipotle. Chipotle, Chipotle. <laughs> can't even talk. Boom, what you got, what you got, Braden? Slap City. Slap City, a nice bowl as well. Good old bowl. Look at this, man. Here, I gotta, I gotta really show them how big this is because the camera doesn't do it justice. It's like <laughs> the size and length of your head. All right, boys, gonna pray real quick and then dive into this. And then I'll check back in with y'all later. Oh my God. <laughs> Peace. That scared the bejeebies out of me. Guys, if you've been watching until this point in the video, I just wanna thank you. It means a lot. And I pretty much want to end off by talking um, on this video today about identity. A lot of times I feel like 
at least for me personally, I confused who I was with what I did. Um, I confused, uh, not, not that I confused it, but I literally put my value and my self-worth in the friends that I had or in the girl that I was dating or especially in the sport that I was playing, especially if I played well or badly in soccer. That's how I would view and value myself. And I, I want to encourage you that your identity is not found in what you do. It's not found in the results that you get or in the people that you hang out with or what other people have to say about you. Your identity is found in Jesus Christ because the Bible says that you're fearfully and wonderfully made. You're made in the image of God, right? It doesn't say that you are made to do well in your career or that you're made to do well in your sports. I'm not saying that you shouldn't strive for those things. There's a place and a time for those things. If you're only focused on those things, then what happens when those things are taken away from you? Then you lose yourself. You don't know who you are. You start to, you start to really struggle. Not, not like financially or, you know, you don't, you don't struggle to, to get by, but you struggle spiritually. You struggle deep down in your mind, in your spirit, in your soul. I put too much of my value into soccer, uh, into, into things that were outside of, of my control. I think identity, it's not even something that's, that's ours. It's something that's given to us. We're given an identity um, in God. This is kind of fun. I'm, I'm enjoying myself and I'm excited to sort of show you guys what it looks like the day in the life of a semi professional soccer player. Um, not the day in life, but just the life of a semi pro soccer player and somebody that's chasing their dreams, that's learned a thing or two along the way and that wants to um, pass it down. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you found this viable, if you found this entertaining. And until the next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.